Hello and welcome back to Von Milhausen Plays Biomenace. We have just started episode 3, Master Kane. Listen to the dramatic music. It is atonal and horrendous. Uh, so, before we begin, and there's actually some really funky music on that screen that I'm hoping will kind of come up later on in the game. Uh, so before we begin, the usual, I'm just going to check out the help screen briefly, and then I have a small announcement to make. Uh, so, the story. Using the coordinates on the electronic chip he recovered from the steel head of the Enforcer on his last mission, Snake jumps in a recon helicopter and sets out for the next lab. How many labs could there be? How long before I find Kane? Snake questions to himself. Clearing a nearby mountaintop, the pilot exclaims, Look, a building! Looks like those coordinates have paid off, Snake. Ready for your next mission? Sliding the bolt closed on his pulse rifle and cinching the straps of his utility pack, Snake responds with a grim resolve, Ready as ever. Wish me luck. Luck, the pilot retorts. You are not careful enough for luck to be of any help to you. <laughs> Just get in there and kick butt, Logan. At that moment, the chopper sets down. Roger that. I'm out of here. Save me a cold one back at base. Snake jumps out and starts directly for the fortress ahead. The helicopter lifts off and heads back to the base, leaving Snake to whatever fate awaits him. So that is the story. Now, the little announcement is that I've actually already played the first two levels of this episode. I only found out after I'd played the first two episodes that for whatever reason my recording software didn't actually record the game's audio at all. So you had my first look footage of the game and you had my voiceover but there was no music no sound effects or anything from the game itself and i was like mm, do i replay it do i not and in the end i decided that the footage was just really flat uh, without any kind of music or sound from the game and i could have like recorded the game's music separately and laid it on top of the video but then there would have been no sound effects so i've just decided to go ahead and replay the first two levels again and then we'll be back to fresh unique experiences now the second part of this announcement is that as i discovered yesterday when i was uh, playing this originally bloody hell this episode way more difficult than the uh, the previous episode so i'm going to take the uh, the few little shortcuts and stuff that i noticed uh, as i was playing through yesterday and i'll point them out when they happen um yeah, because this level starts out difficult, and at least certainly in level 2, stays difficult. I don't know about the rest of the episode, we'll have to discover that together. So without further ado, uh, let me begin a new game. Anyway, we find ourselves here in Barricade before. Uh, throw grenades to blow up monsters. Uh, now, hard to see, but right there in front of me, hidden in the grass, is a landmine, which is the first BS that this level and episode throws at you. Uh, there's a couple of landmines hidden around here, as well as one of my least favourite enemies, the snake. There are lots of snakes. There's another landmine there, and another one there that I just landed on. Great. Off to a flying start already. You literally only get like one pixel or two. Like, okay, see the two trees that are in front of where I am? There's a landmine between them. Do you see the one or two gray pixels in the grass? Yeah. <sighs> and I missed that one as well. God damn it. So enraging. Uh, continue from beacons when you get killed. That's going to happen a lot in this episode, I suspect. There we go. The snake. It's endlessly bouncing venom and, of course, the landmine. Uh, collect machine guns for automatic fire. Oh yeah, and we this is the first time we meet these grey guys. And they're like assassins or something. They carry little bombs and they move really fast. They run up to you and explode. It has been a couple of hours since I played this yesterday, so I've kind of forgotten all the enemy patterns and locations. Other than they're all horrible. Collect 50 gems for an extra life. Uh, push up and use a key to open door. Okay. 
those grey guys will not run off edges, but they, like if you're on a ladder like this and they're on one of the ledgers, they can hurt you. Uh, push up uh, to enter or open a door. Like that. And we get a blue shard. Find out where these crystals go. Weird. I set off that mine but didn't get hurt. I have never seen that before. And as I say, given how this thing went, I played this episode a lot, or this level a lot yesterday. And uh, never saw that. Not really... Ugh, do I bother with these doors? It's kind of pointless. Slash, I just want to get out of this level as quickly as I possibly can. Oh, get away from the snake before he spits venom down here, because they like doing that. And he can spit venom clear across that ladder and all the way over to this side, by the way. As I discovered yesterday, snakes are the worst. In this game, I will hasten to point out really mind snakes in the real world. Now we need to throw a grenade here. Take care of those. And get a key and these grenades. And now we wait for these random patterned enemies to clear themselves. Oh, and I've run out of gun. Great. Well, I might cut the video here while I slowly take care of these plebs. Actually, no, that didn't take too long. It's probably still a snake here somewhere. Yep. And see how far they're... Oh, God. Hatred. I have to say... Like, I get old games are difficult and stuff, but... Like, spot the one pixel of the landmine in the grass. Oh, and by the way, you only have four health and stuff like this. It's just some BS going on in this game that I just don't find... In this particular episode of this game that I don't find enjoyable. Like, the uh, previous two episodes are fine, pretty much. But this episode, just the way it starts off, is like... Mm. Push this my buttons. We get the cyan shard. Let's kill the snake. Damn snakes. Now, there's a secret wall here, which we can chuck that grenade through and get some more grenades and some more points. Maybe it'll help build up an extra life force, which would be nice. Now, there's a snake over here somewhere. <sighs> Their venom just goes so far. Uh, see those glowing squares? They're death. Uh, the danger radiation sign up there, I guess, relates to them. But if you touch those squares, you just instantly die, regardless of how much health you have. Now, here's where I wasted a lot of time yesterday. Right, so you have this corridor here. And basically, it's a long corridor, and it's got these randomly shooting laser turrets at the top that shoot in uh, different directions and stuff. They're just like the ones we saw in, um, was it the last level of the first episode? Uh, yeah, you can't survive that corridor in if you were to just run all the way along. Uh, even with full health, you, you'll be dead before you get to the end. Um, you'd have to be incredibly lucky just to miss the, the laser bolts with their randomness, but given that it's completely random, you have no control over it, so I call it BS. The other way you can go, and this doesn't actually lead you to the exit of the level, is jump onto this ladder, and then there's another ladder that's just like one pixel catch away, blah blah blah. You go through a whole bunch of those ladders, I didn't bother doing it yesterday, I kind of cheated and looked at a map just to see what was over there. It's three doors with some goodies behind them. That's it. Total nonsense, right? The only way I found to do this without absolutely tearing my hair out involves a secret. Right here above this little area, there is a secret area that has an invincibility in it. And that's the only way I found to clear this corridor yesterday. Like, that's just, that's just bull crap. So you just make a run for it. You can kill enemies if you want as you go along. Do 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 do. And there's some landmines, and there's the exit. Right. Down here I can show you if you want. 
Uh, there's just three keys and three doors and some snakes and some other crap that you'd have to survive through on your way out the far side and you have to make your way back along the ladder maze. No, 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 not happening. So that is the end of level one. Um, level two is actually kind of long and there's no real kind of shortcut way to it. So I am going to split the, I'm going to end this episode here and have a second episode in another day or two for level two. But yeah, that's the kind of stuff I think we can expect from this episode because level two, it's not quite as BSE, but it is still fairly challenging. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode as we go through fort entrance.